Hi guys, so today I wanted to make a quick video about height and vertical line as it relates to bone structure type in body geometry. And I want to explain how I see height and sort of why I have structured body geometry in the way that I have with respect to height. So height and body type is a very interesting thing and there's a lot of controversy around it. And in part, there's a lot of controversy around it because it's one of the easiest things to notice. So if you're new to body typing, knowing your height and knowing that it could affect your body type can really help you narrow down the types. So I want to describe to you guys how I see height when it comes to body types in body geometry. So in body geometry, the height is not a factor at all. And the vertical line, which is how tall you look, not how tall you actually are, is a factor. And when we're talking about vertical line, we're talking about how big the head is in proportion to the rest of the body. Because if your head is bigger, makes the rest of your body look smaller and then you look shorter as a result. But that vertical line question is just one question. So you could still be a rounded type in theory and have a long vertical line if the rest of your bone structure is all rounded type bone structure. Hey guys, so editing Miriam here. So I made some altered images to illustrate sort of what I'm trying to describe here in terms of the vertical line being only one question and not changing the entire body type. So you can see Beyonce here, she is a rounded type and you can see here, this is what the image, the unaltered image looks like and she looks amazing in her rounded type lines. And then here I've made her head smaller and so therefore she looks taller, but I would say she still looks just as amazing here as she does here in this dress with the dainty jewelry, with the satin finish, with the dress being very fitted, with the small little gathers and flowy and everything like that. I think it still looks great on her here, the rounded lines, and it looks great on her here. So you see the only thing that we changed is the vertical line in this scenario. We can do the same thing to the one and only. So you can see it here. She has her natural vertical line. So this is just her initial vertical line. And then I made her head smaller here and she still looks amazing in her, in her rounded type lines as well. And then if we go the other way, we can take Tilda Swinton who has a long vertical line and she looks amazing here uh, with her sharpened, line recommendations and if we make her vertical line shorter so she looks short here because i made her head bigger and i think this looks a little bit a little bit maybe i went a little too far here so sorry if that looks a little bit weird but i hope you guys can still see what i'm saying in that she still looks really nice here with these long clean lines even though her vertical line in this image is short because her head is big and she does look much shorter here than she does here so the thing with this is that tilda swinton is very much a very pure sharpened type and Marilyn Monroe as well as Beyonce were very pure rounded types. So this is to show that the one question, only the vertical line, is not going to change your entire body type. But of course, your bone structure type is greater than the sum of its parts. So the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. The overall effect is greater than each individual part combined if that makes sense so you can see here that because tilda swinton still has her angular cheekbones she has her angular jawline her angular nose she has angular shoulders long arms and legs as well as the narrow and long bones of her hands and feet that one answer for the vertical line is not going to change her whole body type. And you might say to yourself, well, you know, here she does look more, a little more like a mixed type, and here she looks more like a pure sharpened type. And I completely agree. I think here she looks a tiny bit more like a mixed type than here, but that doesn't mean that she is a mixed type here. She's still a sharpened type here. So you can see here, here she is in a primarily mixed type dress, and you can see that, you know, here it looks a little bit separate from her. I've made her head bigger and it still looks a little separate from her here as well. And I would say that with Tilda's altered 
shorter vertical line, if we compare her in primarily sharpened lines versus these mixed lines, even with a shorter vertical line, I would say she still looks more harmonious and more in her own skin in this outfit here in the sharpened lines than she does in the mixed lines. So her vertical line, changing her vertical line, did not change her overall type still because it is only one answer. If you're on the cusp of two types for example it could change your type it's not always the case that it won't change your type but in general one answer is not going to make or break anything in light of all of the other answers being in line with one other type and your lived experience being consistent with one type and everything like that so i will get questions such as you know I look amazing in blended lines, I feel amazing in blended lines, all my answers are blended, but I have a long vertical line, or but I'm tall, does that mean that I can't be blended? Absolutely not, it does not mean that you can't be blended, so you can still be blended, it's always about the whole picture, the whole idea, you know, what kinds of lines look best on you, what's your overall bone structure, what's your overall silhouette? everything combined, one thing is not going to make or break anything. Another thing I really want to illustrate to you guys, and I hope that this example kind of helps you see what I, what I mean when I talk about height and when I talk about proportions, it's all about the proportions within your own body. So this is the answer to why height doesn't matter. Height doesn't matter because it is about the proportions within your own body. For example, let's take someone who is a rounded type and uh, you know she looks amazing in her rounded type lines, it looks perfect on her, everything is amazing. And now let's say we scale that image and make her taller. Does she now look bad in her rounded type lines? The heat, the heat just came on, let me shut it off. So yes, she doesn't look bad in her rounded type lines when she's scaled to be bigger or taller. And this is because body geometry is all about the proportions within your own body, not how you look relative to others. So just to drive the point home here, let's take a closer look at these and I really want to pause here and discuss a little bit about this idea of scaling. So this is completely different from the other thing that editing Miriam just discussed, which is the actually changing the vertical line, actually changing the size of the head. Here, we're not changing the size of the head in proportion to the body. We are only scaling the entire body body so you can see here's rachel mcadams she is a rounded type and here's rachel weiss she is a sharpened type and you can see how much sharper and stronger rachel weiss's bones are and how much more visual weight rachel weiss has than rachel mcadams who is a round type so rachel weiss is five foot six i don't remember rachel mcadams height i feel like she's Five, four. Somebody can correct me in the comments, but the point is Rachel Weiss is five six. So here, Rachel McAdams must be, you know, I've scaled her to be five nine or so. And guess what? Because her proportions within her own body have stayed the same, she still looks just as good in her rounded type dress with all of these little light frills, all of the waist definition, the lightweight fabric. She still looks just as good here, even though now she's taller than, you know, in theory, I altered this image, even though now she's taller than Rachel Weiss, who's a sharpened type, Rachel McAdams still looks just as good in her rounded type lines. And this is what I mean when I talk about the proportions within your own body. And this is another thing, right? Notice Rachel McAdams' hand is now larger. Maybe it's larger. Maybe if, if in this, you know, alternative universe where she's, she's taller, right? If she puts her hand next to Rachel Weiss. Rachel McAdams could say, well, my hand is bigger than Rachel Weiss's hand, so I must have big hands, but no, Rachel McAdams here still has small hands because you can see how small they look relative to 
her. So this is what I'm talking about. So in these two images, this image compared to this image, Rachel McAdams' vertical line did not change because the proportion of her head to her overall height did not change. The proportion of her head here to her overall height is the same as here. So her vertical line did not change from here to here, even though her height changed. So this is why the height is literally not a factor when it comes to body type. The vertical line is a factor, but the height is not a factor. So let's take a look at another image. So here we have Beyonce, who is again a pure round type. So you can see that here Beyonce looks really wonderful in her rounded type line. So Beyonce is actually five foot seven and Jay-Z is six foot two. And I believe that Jay-Z is six foot two because I looked at a lot of images of him next to other people and things like that because I thought to myself, you know, that's kind of tall. But no, he's actually, I believe that he's six foot two. I think that's pretty accurate. Beyonce is five foot seven. She's probably wearing heels, so she might be five ten here. So it makes sense that she's about four inches shorter than him. Okay, well anyway, so here we have, she looks amazing. We scaled her. She still looks amazing. And now what is she? She's like six foot six now in this image. And of course, she's scaled. So her vertical line here is short. Her vertical line here is also short because the vertical line, of course, is the proportion of her head to her height and the proportion of her head to her height. It didn't change from this image to this image because we scaled her. So you can see she, you know, and again, she could put her hand in this alternate universe next to Jay-Z's hand. You could, she could say, oh my God, well, my hand is bigger than my husband's hand. I must have long bones and wide bones to my hands. But no, she still has small hands in proportion to her overall body so it's all about the proportions within yourself and of course she still looks just as amazing in her outfit here as she does here there's one more thing that comes up when it comes to scaling there is a concern that yes in photos you know this might look fine but in real life if you see someone who's six foot four who's dressed like this their first impression and your first impression of them is this height is this very very tall look right so even though in a photo this all looks proportional in real life it might not look quite right because you see the person's physical height and that's sort of the thing that's striking about them so if they're wearing their rounded type lines it just looks not quite right even though in a photo it could look right in real life it could not look right this is something that i can totally understand in terms of and maybe feeling like your height is your dominant characteristic you know even if you are let's say a mixed type or a rounded type and definitely you should dress in however way makes you feel the most beautiful makes you feel the most comfortable in your own skin so you know that's always the first and only guideline that's really what we're all after right to feel amazing what we're wearing so if you feel better in let's say sharpened lines if you're tall even though you're a mixed type or even though you are a rounded type then wear the sharpened lines right and if you're tall you will be better able to pull off beveled or sharpened lines even if you're another type just like if you're short you will be better able to pull off mixed or rounded lines even if you're another type sarah jessica parker she looks okay in mixed lines unlike julia roberts but this is all, this is such a side tangent, okay? So the point is, is that I have seen a rounded type in real life and she was tall. She was about 5'9 and she looked amazing in her rounded type lines. And I saw her at a grocery store and she just looked amazing. And I was very excited to see her. Of course, she didn't know this because she i didn't she didn't know who i was i don't know who she was she's was some random stranger but the point is is that she still even though she was tall she looked good in her rounded type lines so i don't think that this idea of you know the height being the dominant characteristic works you know 
And of course, if you are tall and you're around a type, let's say like Rihanna, and you have some longer lines too as well, like she has long arms and legs, you can always add in some more long elements to your lines, but still make them fitted, for example. So you can still add in things to sort of pick up on some of the added length that you have, even if you are around a type. So it doesn't mean that you always have to follow, you know, every single recommendation exactly as it is and never deviate. You know, you, you can still make alterations for your own body type, for your own lines. So another thing is, for example, your hand size. Your hand size and your, your, your foot size or the length of your legs or any kind of questions on the bone structure test are all about the proportions within your own body. Sometimes I have clients who have who are quite short and they have a short vertical line but their arms and legs are long and they're long in proportion to their body they're not long when you stand them next to julia roberts right they're long in proportion to their own body and so then you know it's common they'll tell me you know well i wear a a, a short in, I have a short inseam. I get short pants. I don't have sh I don't have long arms and legs. But if you are four eleven, and you look like you have long arms and legs, you can still potentially have a short inseam. You see what I mean? Because it's about the proportions within your own body. So that's why height does not matter in terms of your bone structure, in terms of body geometry, because it's within your own body. The long vertical line, that is if you look tall, even no matter your height, if you look tall, that does matter, but it is just one question on the bone structure test. It's not going to make or break your type. If you have a long vertical line, but then everything else about your bone structure is rounded and short, then you could still be a rounded type. Or if you have a long vertical line and you have a mixture of opposites in your bone structure in terms of rounded versus the answers A or B structured bone structures, then you could still be a mixed type, for example. So when the eye goes from head to toe, the eye sees rounded, long, rounded, short, angular, long, so it's kind of a very short line before there's a different type of feature. So that's why the mixed type looks good with shorter lines, even if they could have a long vertical line. And it's because the shorter lines are a result of having a mixture of opposites in the bone structure, not a result of having a short vertical line. There is something though, there is something about a correlation with sharpened and bevel types generally being taller and rounded and mixed types generally being shorter. So at some point, there's also a correlation between your height and your vertical line. For example, you can see this image of Tilda Swinton standing next to other people, right? And you can see that I've made her look short here and she does look short within her own proportions. But the thing is that you might tell yourself and you might even be right you know her head is very big here and is this even anatomically possible for her head to be that big right to make her look this short and i don't have the answer to that question but i can say that i've had some clients who really look way shorter than they are and some clients who look way taller than they are you know even at all of these different camera angles and everything like that so it is possible it's just unlikely right it's usually likely that you will look close to your height especially if you are really tall if you're six feet tall it becomes less and less likely that you'll actually have a short vertical line because the chances of your head being big enough to create that as you start to get into six feet tall is going to be those chances are smaller and smaller i wouldn't say it's impossible but just smaller and smaller and in the same way, if you are really, really short, you know, for you to have a long vertical line, your head, so here's Emilia Clark, she's a, a pure rounded type, and this is the unaltered image, and here she, I've altered her head to be smaller, and you can see just how small her head is compared to these two people, and you might ask yourself, is this even 
a reasonable head size or not? And again, the answer is I don't know. But I've had a client who I think she was 5'1 and she looked like she was 5'7. I mean, she had a long vertical line because the proportions within her own body at all of these different angles and everything like that were still showing that her head was small in proportion to her body. Of course, here we have Kylie Jenner who is 5'10 and you can see how big her head is in proportion to her height so it makes her look shorter. So she has a short vertical line. And on the other hand, on the right, we have Sarah Jessica Parker who is 5'3 and she is a bevel type and she has a long vertical line and you can see that she looks quite quite tall and you can see how small her head is in proportion to her height when you compare her to Kylie, right? So can you imagine that, you know, Kylie is five foot ten, right? So Kylie has that short vertical line. So it is possible in real life. And if you look at Kylie next to other people, you can really see how big her head is compared to other people. So this is the thing, you guys. Okay, so most people who are tall look tall, but not all of them most people who are short look short, but not all of them. Most beveled and sharpened types are tall, but not all. And most rounded and mixed types are short, but not all. This is why I harp on and on about how, you know, mixed types can be tall or rounded types can be tall or beveled and sharpened types can be short. Because my intention is to get you guys to really seriously consider every single type for yourself. So if I were to kind of give you some advice on how you could use your height to your advantage instead of to your disadvantage in your search for your body geometry type, I would say that you can use your height to your advantage, it is a piece of information and it's a way to sort of order what types you should consider first. So if you're short, you should consider the types in this order. You should consider rounded and then mixed and then blended and then beveled and then sharpened because chances are if you're short, you're probably rounded or mixed or maybe blended and there are lower chances that you're beveled and sharpened. So you might as well not waste your time if you you know, try out rounded lines and you feel just right, then you've pretty much finished your search and it's great, right? You can just start shopping in your own lines and, and be on your way. And on the other hand, if you're tall, the order is reversed. So try sharpened first and then beveled and then blended, mixed and then rounded. So it might sound like, oh my gosh, well, am I contradicting myself? I just said that height doesn't matter. Now you're saying it does matter. Height does not matter in the sense that it's only going to inform the way that you consider the types, it's not ever, ever going to rule out any type, any type at all. So let's say if you're tall like Rihanna, Rihanna is a rounded type. She's tall. I think she's five foot eight and Rihanna considers sharpened and she finds that it just looks really plain on her and the lines drown her. She tries out beveled and she tr she finds that beveled lines not only look plain on her, but they also look sloppy on her and they also drown her. She tries blended lines and she finds that blended lines look super plain on her and she looks really boring and just really miserable in blended lines. So she tries mixed lines and then she finds that she looks really stern and really stiff in mixed lines. And she tries rounded lines like this dress and she finds she looks just right. So is Rihanna not a rounded type because she's five foot eight? Absolutely not. Rihanna is a rounded type even though she's five foot eight. So this is what I mean that your height will never exclude any type that you feel your best in, that you feel amazing in. So, you know, Rihanna looks amazing in her rounded type lines and just because she's 5'8", that doesn't mean that she's not a rounded type. Her height does not exclude her from any type. On the other hand, Lucy Liu can do the same thing. So Lucy Liu is short, so what she would do is she would consider rounded first and she might find that it just looks very separate from her. She would consider mixed and she would find that she looks very angular and it looks very stiff and too tight on her. She would try blended and she would find that it just looks really plain and boring on her. She would try beveled and she might feel like, hey, you know what, maybe this is right, but too much beveled and it looks a little sloppy on her and she tries sharpened and she feels just right. So is she not a sharpened type because she's five foot three, I think? I think she's five three or five four. 
Is she not a sharpened type because of that? Absolutely not. She's still a sharpened type. So this is what I mean. Don't exclude any type, you know, just because of your height. Just use your height in a way to inform your search, you know, inform your search for your type and understand that if you're six feet tall, yes, it's less likely that you're around a type. If you're 4'11", 5 feet tall, yes, it's less likely that you're a sharpened type. But always consider the full picture. You know, if you find that you look your best in, in a certain set of lines, then you are that type. I always say, and I always have said, I always will say, the lines are the ultimate test. So it's not the body types test that's the ultimate test. The body types test is only a guide. The lines are the body geometry test. The body geometry bone structure test is not the body geometry test. It's the lines that are the body geometry test that's the ultimate test if that's what you look your best in that's your type it doesn't matter what your height is so that's it you guys that's all i have to say about height and bone structure type and i hope this clarified for you guys why i see height the way that i do and of course leave your comments down below leave some questions or video requests or anything like that down below and i will talk to you guys next time okay bye